Hello everyone. Uh, today I came up with a very very small program on AngularJS. So the, today we'll not be using any uh, script, uh, not write any scripting code. We'll just use some directives like the ng app and uh, ng repeat and specifically the tutorial on which we are we are going to talk today is the ng init. So ng init is something uh, in by which you can initialize data, initialize some data and just uh, manipulate the data on your HTML page without writing any script. I'll just import the uh, angular main.min.js script uh, .js file, the model, the angular js API and the rest will be in the HTML page. So let us try start with the program and uh, well, what you are going to see. Uh, uh, I've already created a file as uh, name as ngnit.html and I'm using sublime text uh, 3.1 I think I forgot the version <coughs> and I'll be copying the script here So this is my head section and now we'll come, we come to the body section. Now in this body section, we will what we will do, we will just create an ng init. So in this ng init, we will take a variable say my data that will be equal to and we will put some array data in array here. Uh, let us Give some name of Australian cricket player Steve Waugh. Mm. Glenn McGrath. Then my favorite Shane Warren. Let's talk about Bradley Bradley. Is there? Of course, Ricky Ponting, and how can I forget the name? Adam Wilkerst. So this is my data and now I'll be creating a another list inside this we have an li and in this li I will just give the ng repeat directive so where what will be data in my data just and it will be data so this is all about my print is the program and let us just check out what comes so here is the engine it okay i think i missed something yeah i have missed the main thing that is ng app so you have to declare the main directive ng app otherwise uh, HTML cannot recognize it as uh, AngularJS application. So let's now again go to the page and refresh it. Okay, so it's there. So let us do something else. Say we just remove this and make it a table. Table. Make it tr and just remove this from here and make a td. Then move to the page. Okay, so to understand, we take a say border to one. So uh, we can also uh, work with some 
say uh, complex data so uh, more than one column so let's just make it okay name Steve Waugh Like it's a category batsman. So let us oh, just a moment. Okay, so let us just make it up a little bit proper. So I'll come back after I just pick it a little bit in a proper fashion. Okay, now I'm done with this. Uh, I have Gilchrist Batsman, Wicketkeeper also, Ricky Ponting Batsman, Bradley All-Rounder, Sharon Moon Bowler. So now we'll just make this change, some changes here. And just data in my data. And here it will be data dot name. And this will be data dot category okay and let us just uh, make something and say is tr we take our th table header and give it a name name category okay okay i think i'm done with this Oh no, okay. It's, I just want to have to put this before here. It should be not within the end repeat, otherwise, it will go and turn repeating. So, tr, no table header, and ta. Okay. So this is uh, our output. So we, are, we have also done with uh, more than multiple columns data. So this is how, see, I have not written, written a single line of scripting code, okay, any JavaScript code or AngularJS code. I've just used that directive. <coughs> First one is ng-app, which declares the HTML, uh, that this HTML is going to use uh, an uh, AngularJS application. And second is the ng init, which is initialize the data within a variable called my data, and then within the table we do the same thing as we do when we use uh, initialize data into a variable in, in, inside the script. So ng init does the same thing as we do inside a script. Suppose inside a controller, uh, or we use when we uh, retrieve data uh, using Ajax, Ajax HTTP get. So we did, did the same thing here. So this is all about this video. Um, I hope you like this. Please press the like button if you like the video and please subscribe to my channel. That's CBHRO19776. Thank you very much. Goodbye.